If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be my failed reading vlog of the Raven Boy series. I can never do a reading vlog without it being ruined somehow. Like, there's always something. Technology just doesn't like me. And actually, let me... She always needs to be there, right? Especially with that hat. A lot of people were happy that she was back and that she was wearing the hat because it suits her. I agree. So, um, I say fail because I started filming it on my phone because my camera, there's always something that happens to it. And I was like, oh, I'm smart. I'm going to be using my phone instead. And I put my phone down after I had done like the first book and a half and I picked it back up and it just didn't work anymore. It was like dead, dead. Anyway, I'm not going to go into much details because I'm pretty sure I have footage of me complaining about that on this camera. And I'm super swollen because it was like a month ago. So like two months after surgery. And I think it's really funny. So I'll let my past self explain it once we're there. But I thought I would just talk about the first book and a half because I might as well, because a lot of you were excited by me finally reading this. Technically, I had read the first book. So just the Raven Boys, right? Um, in 2016, when I started my channel. But uh, at the time I hadn't read books in so long because school, right? I feel like we all go through that. And I had given it, I believe, 3.75 and I was like, eh, I feel like it's a bit overhyped. I'm not feeling it. And I was excited to reread it just because now I expected it to be character driven. And I have to say, I think I enjoyed it way more the second time around. Uh, like I said, because I expected the character driven. I expected the magical realism, which isn't really my jam, but I loved her family. Blue's family, uh, like the witches. I'm on a kick, you're gonna see that in my next haul video, about witches. What am I not? But uh, I really loved her family. I love the Raven Boys. And like I said, I was less fixated in finding like action, more into just liking the characters and seeing, you know, the twist at the end. Actually, I can go spoiler, right? It's a reading vlog of the whole series. So let's go with the spoilers. I knew that one of the boys was a ghost. So it was really nice to just you know, see the little hints, which now it's like, obviously the quotes, I removed my post-its because I'm a dum-dum. I remember that I enjoyed the fact that the main character, even though there are little tropes of like, not like other girls and just a little special about the fact that, I think I mentioned it, it's also in the future books about her being tiny and like, not like other people. And I mean, it kind of makes sense because of her family and everything, but the whole like petite girl, I was kind of afraid that I was going to become like that. But I was pleasantly surprised and just from the first book, right, at one point she um, stands up to Ganzi and basically puts him into his place, which was refreshing. I appreciated that, that she could be someone that doesn't let anyone walk all over her, but at the same time she wasn't that like tough, can kill everyone just by looking at you type of character. So that was refreshing. But I have to say from the first book, I'm trying to find his name, Adam. I really was not feeling them together. And I was so happy when the second book happened. So yeah, that was the first book. I enjoyed it. And then to the second book, um, I'm not sure exactly when the vlog starts. I think I was finishing it. So I was waiting for the romance to end and it did and I was very happy. And then going more into Ronan, who I enjoyed quite a bit as a character. And it was nice to see a lot of like his background, seeing more about his magical powers and the relationship with that other guy who I can't remember the name. You're gonna notice I don't do character's name. I forget them. Like I'll see the first letter of the first, their name and that's how I know what the story is about. I cannot tell the character's names to save my life. Uh, Ron and that other guy with the white car. Um, I was kind of feeling them a little bit, but anyway, he's dead, so who cares? Um, but I really enjoyed seeing more about his magic, cool powers, and I thought it was kind of unique. A little on the magical realism side, but you know, it was still not bothering me that much, which I feel like kind of went a little further once again with the third book and everything. But uh, I would say that overall, I enjoyed that one way more than expected. And this one, this, there were some good sides, which again, I will quote a few things in the vlog, but I would say that it was good. I understand the hype. I understand why people get attached to characters so much. Personally, not really my jam, but you're gonna see that in the vlog. So let's go through it. 
Okay, so I wanted to update you because I am done with a book number two and I have a few thoughts. Honestly though, I feel like it's starting to get a bit too much on the magical realism side for me. But overall, I think I'm enjoying this more than I expected. A um, few things. <laughs> Let's talk about the post-its. I have to say that Blue is growing on me. I feel like the first book I was starting to be afraid that she was going to be like, you know, another wife, female character that's kind of like meek and like she only starts becoming herself because of boys and like becoming only about the boys and the love story and I really appreciate how, I think it's page 345 <laughs> and she, you know, they're calling her Regis, <laughs> raging feminist but how she's basically wanting to be more than just, you know, a girl that they can start dating and that was actually refreshing in a YA book Can you tell it's hot? <laughs> I mentioned that Genzi was my favorite character but, uh, well, between the four boys but I love how He's so not aware of what money can buy and like how a few hundred dollars is actually a lot of money. <laughs> it's like that uh, meme of like, how much can banana be? Ten dollars? <laughs> it's pretty much how he's acting at page uh, 363, whatever he's like saying like, well surely with scholarship you can afford it. And I love how Blue once again calls him out being like, do you really think that I'm too stupid to like know? What it would cost and what I'm telling you that I can't afford it I didn't do my research and everything and it's like oh, there's nothing worse in real life than someone that tries to explain you something like that like I feel like that's something I've experienced and I get so annoyed so it was really refreshing once again for her to just call him out she's not afraid to do that which you need it because I feel like it, that they're gonna end up together or I feel like it might be what everyone is shipping I am too um, I actually prefer them than her and Adam so I'm kind of glad this is dying <laughs> but yeah um, I appreciate how she keeps calling him out he deserves it you know it's gonna do him some good <laughs> also I have to say I freaking knew there was something between Ronan and um, Kavinsky yeah I didn't think at first there were going to be like any representation in LGBTQ plus in the series is a little bit older right like 2012 and second one I think is 13 so I feel like it wasn't I mean it's just a few years ago but I feel like it, there's been a wave like afterwards so it's nice I appreciate it so yeah that uh, basically being said at 411 so impressed I appreciate it um, I got to say about the ending is getting a bit weird the whole Adam being weird oh there's the firefly uh, not firefly dragonfly <laughs> um, yeah, things are getting a bit weird for me, and I like weird stuff, but for some reason magical realism gets too little, like, ooh, vague magic, but the nature, and it just gets a bit weird for me. But, um, overall I'm enjoying this, I am hoping that it will continue to get better. I want to know more about Persephone, I think that's her name, uh, I want to know more. She's like, see, I'm very into, like, witches, so I feel like her family, Blue's family, I love them. I want to know more about them. More than about like the king they're trying to discover, you know what I mean? I want their story instead. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, summarized the rest of my feelings about book number two. And day four. We've been doing very good. And now, I feel like we've been, I'm kind of close to the camera. You can see like my big cheeks. <laughs> But the sun is going down and it's like literally in my face otherwise so I kind of have to like bring you kind of close to me Anyway, it's really nice outside. I've been like Wanting to read but it was raining constantly. You've seen it um, So I'm finally able to enjoy it once again. So I have book three um, Lily, Lily Blue. I have no idea where this is gonna go. It seemed to end on a note of we're gonna get more of Persephone her character and uh, Adam is very weird so I'm hoping things are going to become more clear and hopefully not too fake. I've been told that the second one is the best one for a lot of people and that a lot of people are disappointed with the last one so I'm like trying to keep my expectations pretty low but I want to know more about um, Ronan like how it's working. I'm glad we got a lot more of that in the second book. Anyway 
and of talking, uh, let's read. It's nice outside, gotta have fun and do that a little bit. It literally starts with her. <laughs> okay, so I have some bad news. Uh, I mean, actually you've already seen the intro, I guess, so you already know. My phone died died, so unfortunately I had thought it would be fun to film most of this vlog on my phone and obviously no vlog of mine ever goes planned, so I lost a lot of footage. I'm gonna try my best to see if I can salvage something, but you'll have seen the intro, so I guess it didn't really happen. Uh, <laughs> so I thought that to make it more interesting, I'm gonna include the clip of me, I need to reorganize. You know, I have the empty shelf now that I've done my reorganizing videos. I think I'm gonna include this in here for, just to compensate, really. Uh, let's talk about this book. I'm not quite done yet. I have like 100 pages left, but I'm ready to talk about it a bit more. A lot of people were telling me that this one and the last one were their least favorite book. And so far, I would say that the second one is still my favorite. One of my favorite characters, though, is um, Persephone, whatever how you say that in English. I like but butches. <laughs> I like books about witches. So if you have actually any recommendations, let me know because fall is approaching and I will definitely be trying to read some. But Adam is kind of a little weird in this one. Obviously, I get it, but you know. Um, there's like more and more tension between Gansey and Blue. And Blue is still impressing me because once again, she is standing up for everything she believes in. I'm trying to find, I had put a post-it and now it's not there and I'm so mad. I had a post-it. Okay, well at one point she still stands up, I think against Gansey, so. Uh, I really like her as a character. Uh, she has surpassed my expectations of her. And uh, I feel like, Especially like this one, I don't know, 2014, 15. Uh, I still feel like the whole like uh, meek female character was really big. I feel like they're changing that right now, but it was still something that was bothering me in older way <laughs> contemporary. So that's nice. To be honest, at this point, I'm kind of figuring out what my issue is with this series. It is a very character driven why contemporary romance magical realism type of story. And I like the characters. I understand why people will get attached to them, but I don't care about the story. Like, I don't really care about Glendor and if they find her mom and Mr. Grey. And like, I don't really care. I care just about like the little family at 300 Fox whatever street and uh, the four Raven boys. So, yeah, I think this is gonna be my last book. I'm not sure I'm gonna read the fourth one right away because I've been finding myself being like, oh, I should be reading right now, but not feeling like it. So I don't want to put myself in a reading slump. So I'm gonna read the rest of the 100 pages and I think I'm gonna move on with my life. But let's organize my shelves because I still have one to do. Actually, I technically need to organize these two too. So let me do that at the same time because I, at least in the beginning, I had two basically rainbow shelves. So the first one is supposed to be books that I've read and the second one books that I haven't. And right now there's a few books, like this one and this, oops, this one and this one that should not be on it. Let me grab that. And then on the other one, it's supposed to be books that I didn't read. So again, I read that. Is there anything else? This one, I'm about to read it, so might as well move it. I think that's it. Yeah, I need to find some books on my shelves that are like very bright so I can put those in there. I feel like this one, I need some type of like colors on this side. <sighs> let's, see. let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm realizing I don't have a lot of books that are like green for a spine. This one is kind of short, but like, I don't have that many options, you know? Nah, it's too small. I don't like it. I'm going to make an effort to read some green books. Let's put this one somewhere. I'm trying to not break apart series two. And it's making things even more difficult. So 
Actually, I have two books missing from the shelf, so I think at this point I have space. I have like this one that I let someone borrow and I have another one here. So I think that one is good. Now I need for the TBR one. There. I put that here, because I've yet to read that. This one I'm in the middle of, so I guess it counts and maybe it will shame me into finishing it. <laughs> so let's try to include this Ooh, right here. There you go, that one I just need two. Okay, so one thing done. Now let's try to do the other one. Basically, my goal, so for this shelf, my goal is to, I started and then I realized I should be filming this. Um, I want to include all the books that are on my TBR and the books that I want to read through my challenges. So I get that I only have like four months left for the year, but four months is still enough time to read quite a few books for my TBR. So that's gonna be my goal. I'm gonna grab all the books that I have a physical copy of that I want to remind myself that I need to read and just shove them all here because I'm a visual person. I need to see them to know they exist. <laughs> These are basically some from my big book challenge. And then I started putting some that are from my other ones, my um, Goodreads challenge and everything. So let me go through the list that I have on my computer. Just put them all there and then I can include a few more that are just books that I have been meaning to read for a while. So I need to put them all there so I can see them. So I know I have this one that I've been meaning to read. I have, where's that one? I think it's over here. So, oh, I have one. Oh my god. See, this is why I needed another shelf because all the books over there I can't reach easily. Let me just grab it. So, this one is becoming a movie uh, very soon, and I have the audiobook, so I put it here so I remind myself to do that. I also wanted to finish this series. So, book two. I want more giant spiders. For my Goodreads reading challenge, I'm supposed to read, well, technically it would be the last one in the uh, Throne of Glass series, but I've only, I've only read the first one. So let's grab the second one and add it to a list. Oh my, can I reach this? There. So, there we go. I know a lot of people are waiting for me to bash this, but I'm still hoping I'm gonna like this, so. It's actually bigger than I thought. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get to that one, but I had started the audiobook for Hyperion. It's like a classic sci-fi and I have yet to finish it. So I had decided that audiobook was not the way to go. So I really want to get to this one. It just terrifies me because of the writing. So <laughs> if I have time, it's gonna be there, it will be in my face, I won't have a choice but to pick it up. Oh, and there's one of the books that I wanted to add because I had started it for a readathon and I didn't finish it. This one. Good Morning Midnight. It's supposed to be a, I believe it is a post-apocalyptic, uh, but uh, if I remember correctly, it was picked up to become a movie. And again, I do try to read the books before I watch the movies, so. But these are a big book. Although, I think at this point we can admit that I will probably not read all of them, but the goal was 10 out of 12, so we're still gonna hope that I can read a few more. And then for this section, I realized that a lot of the ones that I'm including in my Goodreads reading challenge or my, my top 19 of 2019 type of thing are books that I'm getting from my library, but those are one, the ones that I have physically, and I included a few more that are just books that I'm dying to finish, like this one. And this one is becoming a movie, same as this one. So let's see. I still have some space, but I think I'm going to include the books that I have on my TBR every month on this shelf too. So we do need a little space with that. So how am I supposed to organize this? Are we doing it by height and try to satisfy people that were not satisfied by my reorganizing of my bookshelf? Voila, by height. <laughs> so that was for everyone that was complaining about my shelves. <laughs> it was actually surprising. Like I don't really care about the organization of my books as much as people on the internet. Shouldn't be surprising actually. Um, but as long as I know where the books are, which I do now because you know, there are a section of like 
sci-fi fantasy type of thing and like I know now where everything is or should be but yeah every time I will always be surprised with people being very frustrated because they're not all the same height they're not all hardcover and perfectly installed and everything but I wasn't even supposed to actually do anything too physical because of the surgery so this took me like three hours and at the end I was like I am done I cannot do this anymore I'm so tired so I think it still did pretty decent considering I'm gonna go and uh, finish this I have some errands to run today and everything so I need to get to it uh yeah we can do this I should actually just finish it here I'm gonna go and grab some Cheerios <laughs> Eat them from the box, as always. Well, I guess I'm not reading outside today. Snack time. I'm having a salad full of veggies and like kale de penne, whatever you call that in English, and then some of those uh, vine leaves thingy. Yeah, I'm very descriptive with my food, so this is what I'm having. Okay, so I thought yesterday was going to be my last day of <laughs> reading this but yesterday went so crazy because we decided to have people over kind of last minute and then it was just like cleaning cooking and just preparing everything hence the leftovers which are delicious by the way um and oh i don't know if i have a picture i'll ask um because again no phone right um i made this dessert thing which so good i hadn't done one in like years and it's like i call it a cookie pie but i tried to google it and apparently the internet calls it a pizza fruit pizza so if you want to find recipes definitely uh look that up because it's delicious and it's the perfect time during the summer because fruits are everywhere and much cheaper so i would definitely recommend um trying that it's delicious everyone was incredibly impressed and it's so easy which is like my favorite thing ever <laughs> so uh yeah i'm gonna attempt to finish this book today because i have about 70 pages left. It should not be a problem. I thought I would already be done, but I want to finish this and then I can actually move on with my life. And like, I say that, it sounds so negative, but like, I've explained it. I just feel like while I like the characters and I understand the hype, I just don't think I'm dying to continue slash, I know a lot of people say that the last book is the worst or that they're disappointed with the ending and I will finish it, like the whole series, but not this month. I have another kind of read-a-ton slash challenge for myself that I want to film like now, which last year I had like so many reading slumps. I don't want to do that to myself and like put myself in one. You know what I mean? So since I've been like so good at reading a ton this summer, I want to keep that going and I want to keep doing ideas that actually excite me. And I was excited about this one. For a second I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> uh, at first I was excited about this, but right now I'm not anymore. So it's time to move on. So let's finish that. Um, I also went book shopping, like used book shopping um, today, earlier, and I'm excited. I got a few books. You're gonna see that in my next haul video, but I found some good stuff, which I feel like it can be hit and miss, right? You, you buy used stuff, and I'm planning on going to a library sale very soon, so it means even more books. I have found some good books this summer. I'm like way overdue for a proper haul video. I have mentioned that the ones I had posted were like pre-filmed and there was one that was like an exchange, an exchange with friends, which I mean free book haul, right? The best kind. So yeah, I'm gonna continue slash finish eating and um, I shall be reading the last 70 pages because it's a never ending book. I am so excited by the way to be finally back. Like. Mm. It's been forever for me filming. Like, I was filming May, and yeah, I left like mid May. So it's been three months. It's crazy. I have so many really amazing ideas. You're gonna like die when you see them, hopefully. <laughs> but I have like so many videos to try and post as soon as possible. So instead of posting like one or twice a week, like I was trying to do during the summer, I'm gonna be posting at least twice a week, sometimes three, until like I catch up a little bit. And then yeah, it should be my usual, like official schedule should be twice a week. Let me know if you have any preferences because I was thinking like once during the weekend, once during the week. So I think that sounds pretty good. <laughs> let me know your preference but yeah I think that's gonna be it so 
yeah, let me finish eating because I don't want to eat in your face. I don't know if it bothers people. Let me know too because I feel like when I, when I do a, a, haul, a vlog, like chatting, it's like ch chatting with a friend and I would be eating and it wouldn't bother anyone but I know some people are kind of sensitive about that on the internet so I mean as long as I'm not being them, <laughs> it should be fine, right? By the way, I just realized that I completely forgot to do one thing. There's something missing on that shelf, right? I've been called out multiple times and I keep forgetting to put her there, so let's do it now because she's right there. Look at her. Da, 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 da. Yeah, she needs to be on the shelf, right? Whoa. I don't know if I want to put her there. I mean, those are like a bunch of my favorite books and some I'm looking forward to. Or should I put her there and the mug should not be there? I think this one you would see it better in the background, so you will be able to vote in future videos where you want her to be. And actually, she needs her hat, right? So, like, whoop, dropped it. Ooh. So let's not forget the hat because, I mean, essential piece. You gotta confuse everyone that finds this channel. Because I always get comments on her. People are wondering why the hell I have my face in a snow globe in the background. But here she is in all her glory. You're welcome. So I have finished book three officially. Uh, there was only a few things I needed to mention. I know the first one was that... What is up with the obsession of always saying that the main female character is always so tiny? Like, she's like five feet tall, which... I mean, I guess it's short, but it's not that short. And like, her noticing that she's short, whatever. But like, sometimes it's kind of awkward that other people are mentioning it, and it just like comes off as like... Like, out of nowhere. I need to find that spot I had seen. Let me look it up. Found it! So at page 378, um, Piper says, go be short somewhere else. And I'm like, why does, like, why is it always about her being short? It's just so awkward and like, from all the things you could say about her, that's always what is mentioned. Anyway, I mean, it's nothing really. It's just an observation. I feel like it's always in every book I read. What was the second thing? Oh, I also wanted to mention that uh, Colin, right? Green Mantle? Um, what is up with like villains being like so weird yet they should be so intelligent because they manage so many evil things happening and yet each just... I don't know, maybe I have a weird idea of like villains but like Logically, if he's that smart, he should actually act smart, but he seems to be acting like a kid's book character, you know what I mean? Again, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I'm happy to be done because I'm ready to move on. I do still want to read book four, but at the end of the day, my opinion so far is that it's not a bad series. I would say like probably a 3.5-ish overall, the three books. It's just that I like the characters more than I like the story. And like I'm not dying to see what's going to happen next. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. I would rather see the characters go through something different <laughs> than what they're going through right now. That's a pretty meh review I feel like. But... I feel like sometimes when I do vlogs, it should be more about what I'm doing other than just reading sometimes because the books are not... You can't always expect amazing books or horrible ones, you know? Most things are not like that, you know, that bell curve, whatever. I'm sorry that vlog was not as planned. Hopefully the next one coming up very soon will be even better. I am dying to finally do what I should have done a long time ago. You'll see soon. I hope you still enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe because, again, you don't want to miss all my videos coming up. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up in support of me having to possibly buy a new phone because we've tried everything and now I do not have the money to spend. How do people buy $1,000 phones? I don't get it. I am not buying an X, iPhone X, whatever. <laughs> not happening. Anyway, I will see you in a new video very soon. Bye.